Hey guys, welcome back to Diecast Reviews. So this is a review on Speed Demon, who is kind of an angel character in the Cars on the Road Salt Flats episode. Obviously, she is seen when Mater kind of, you know, crashes and he meets her in the sky. So she's kind of like an angel character. Very interesting, very unique character that, you know, we have obviously never seen before in the Cars universe. Um, so a yeah, very unique model as well with the wings. And I do like how they positioned her on the card art that she's kind of floating because, you know, she is kind of floating in the sky or whatever. So uh, nice job on the card art there. Speed Demon Terror de la Velocidad. Very interesting uh, Spanish name there. And of course, she was one of the first Cars on the Road characters released um, in a way. She was kind of like made a main character or something. I don't know. But, you know, the first three Cars on the Road characters released were Mater, McQueen, and of course, Speed Demon. So... Um, really interesting how that worked, but, you know, there she is. Uh, there's some nice prototype images there. You can see that it's kind of almost like a plasticky made or they're very interesting prototype image. But, yeah, R38A, 38th week of 2022. Um, so, yeah. So, let's get Speed Demon here out of the package. I will say she's very, very light. If you just pick up another car, uh, odds are that car's going to be heavier than Speed Demon. Uh, very light so here is speed demon out of the package and like i said in the intro it's a very you know unique casting very interesting we haven't seen one like this before uh just the shape of the car we haven't seen anything remotely similar to this before you know, we've got a lot of 1940s and 1950s, you know, old cars. Uh, this kind of looks like a 1940s, you know, coupe or something. Uh, but we've gotten a lot of, you know, 1940s, 1950s, you know, the Radio Springs Townies, the Racers. We've gotten a lot, but none of them have looked quite like this. So, uh, very special release in that, you know, very unique. Um, but, yeah, showing off the bat there, you can see the eyes right there. You've got the grill right there. You've got the mouth kind of right there. You really can't see it. It's black on black, but um, just a slight, slight smirk, I guess you could say. Now, the reason this is so light is because this middle portion right here is the only thing that's metal on this car. Um, this is metal, but it's a really small portion. The majority of the car is plastic. The fenders here are plastic, and the uh, wings are plastic, and this big you know, chrome piece here is plastic. Um, so, yeah, majority of the car is plastic. You've got the... And, uh, fender covers there um, a different shade they're gray I do believe that's accurate to the movie I don't think that's just because the black doesn't um, line up properly you know the you paint this you paint metal one color that color is not gonna be the same if you paint it uh, on plastic I think that's correct to the movie but it could just be because they painted black on metal and plastic and that you know doesn't work out that well but you've also see, you see a grill kind of right there you've got one door um on each side so it is a coupe um you kind of got like a door handle there and then you can also see right through it see right there my finger you can see right through it um so that's great as we go to the back here so you've got the kind of second part of the fender cover there you've got the wings here we'll take a look at that uh no tail lights but they go right there um but kind of like a space for them but no actual taillights, no license plate either. I guess she wouldn't need one floating around in the sky and whatnot. Uh, but here are the kind of wings. They do look nice. Nice detailing there by Mattel. Um, at least, you know, give it a texture or something. They could have just left it blank. It wouldn't look very good, but they could have. But um, nice job by them to give it some texture. I think it sh they should be looking at the um, picture here. They should be chrome. You can see they kind of look chrome there. They kinda, I think they should be kind of this chrome color back here, but they made it silver because it's the same part as something. Actually, they may just be inserts, but I think they should be chrome, but I don't know. Maybe that would have been too expensive or something, so they just made them silver. Uh, it's okay. It's whatever, I guess. doesn't really matter. And yeah, this side is the same as the other. Obviously, just kind of black with the you know fenders and whatnot. So, yeah. Those look nice, but like I said, very, very light. Um, you know, Luigi and Guido are probably heavier than this. If you take the two of them, they're probably heavier than Speed Demon here. 
Although the wings do look very nice. Um, I do like them. Let's take a look at the base here. Um, there you go. R32A is when she was produced. So 32nd week of 2022. But, uh, this car actually is from a 2023 case, uh, the card in the car. So they're just kind of carrying them over. They made a bunch of them and now uh, they're just putting them into, uh, you know, the same package and just repackaging them into future cases. 2023 case B is where this one's from. So, uh, yeah, just kind of repurposing them. They've done, they've done that with a few cars. Uh, so not really a surprise. It's a new thing they're doing, uh, this year, but, um, so yeah, if you find one in the store, it's probably from a 2023 case, um, because she was released early on in 2022, cars on the road stuff, and then kind of as we moved on, she was kind of fizzled out, but still released pretty plentiful. Uh, so I'll put a picture of Speed Demon, where she appeared in the movie, obviously pretty prominent uh, character in the Salt Flats episode. And I guess considering Mattel is kind of pushing the Salt Flats episode a lot, they've released obviously a lot of you know Salt Flat racers and whatnot, uh, it kind of makes sense, I guess, that she was released first because she was a pretty prominent character in an episode they want to feature a lot, it seems like, in the diecast line. So it does make sense that she was released pretty early on. Um, but yeah, looks looks nice. I say a, a very unique character, like an angel with, you know, a car that a very unique casting. Probably not going to get a similar casting this, maybe ever. An angel, a very interesting character. And obviously with wings uh, for a non-plane, that's pretty rare, I think. The only one I, other one I can think of is Heavy Metal Mater, uh, was released with wings, but, um, so yeah, very, very interesting and unique character, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, nonetheless, let me know what you think of Speed Demon down in the comments below, hope you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, share, comments, all that good stuff, and I will see you all in the next video, goodbye!